Deputies say that they got the call around 9 a.m. They discovered two bodies. The IHOP has a mm -hmm. new menu for people who love bacon. That's me. You. The restaurant chain <laughs> calls it the new. This morning is snow on the way. Perella, what's the latest timing? Trial of a man accused of kidnapping, sexual assault, and murder. The governor said Wednesday that the state is not going to shut down. Deputies say that the suspect placed the pipe bomb, you saw it explode there, about a glitch that could keep you from calling 911. Our chief. SCDOT has lowered the weight limit on the McDaniel Avenue bridge. Breaking news this morning as you head out the door. I-26 has just closed down. So I love it for you. As soon as those lanes open back up, I'll be the first to let you know about it. There's another view of that accident. We've got views all over the place. Where those lanes have reopened for you. I've been watching it closely. So we're rerouting you this morning as you head out the door. Good news. The detour is not that far off. We know the corner has been called. Traffic only moving in those two middle lanes. Take a look at your screen. Columbus Fire Department two miles of backup. You can see one lane of cars trickling through right now on the interstate. So let's start. Which side's which? Let me see if you can guess. So I just watch SCDOT pick up all those cones along I-85. We've already got a headache. Look at your screen. We made it to Friday and we're so glad you woke up early with us this morning and look who's joining us. Hey, it's hey. a Friday <laughs> gift. It's a gift to you, <laughs> Dale. It is so good to yeah, see Perilla you. Yeah, Perilla said Violence at the nation's capital. Protesters break through windows as Congress certifies the 2020 election result. Congress had to work into the morning certifying each state's results. And the U.S. Senate is set to meet to discuss increasing those stimulus payments you could be getting soon. You'll likely need a booster. Yeah, the CEO of Pfizer says people will likely need a third dose about 6 to 12 months after they get that first. In this kindergarten class, we're learning about words. And this week's Golden Apple winner makes sure that one word stands out above them all. But this is what you need to do. Stay off the roads instead. Just sled down them. All right, ready? One, two, three. We're live in downtown Greenville, Hannah Ward. I've been working on my triple axle this morning, getting ready for the Winter Olympics. Unfortunately, it's not perfected enough to do it on live television. So this is this is the best we got. Daniel exposing to everyone that I haven't bought my husband anything just yet, but there's still time. <laughs> You're running out of time. <laughs> I'm running out of time. It's after spending hours and hours stuck in traffic in Northern Virginia. Things are moving very smoothly. And as you head outside, we are in, oh my goodness, y'all. This just, this just keeps getting better. This sunrise, I could not get over it. Carolina, some area is completely flooded. As you can see, Sky 4 on top of this scene for you. We are in front of this scene for you. We're giving you multiple views you can only get right here on WYFF. As well as both shoulders of 385 as you try to head towards Pleasant Burke. So just about two miles. And I'm not seeing it cause delays, which is something to be thankful for. And just know, we'll get you to work on time and we'll get you around this this morning. No worries. You can see that truck involved ran into that concrete barrier, okay, but we're on it for you this morning right through the center of the city of Greenville. We are down to one lane southbound. We're tracking a pretty serious accident right now. Looking live right now at utility crews trying to repair that utility pole. There was a wreck earlier this morning that knocked that utility pole down, blocking the roadway. Now they're working to repair that to restore power for a few of you in that area. Just one lane, I-85 southbound right there at I-85. So we'll zoom on in. The wreck actually looks like it's on I-85, but it's under the bridge. We're following breaking news out of Florida. Authorities are at the home of Brian Laundry, the fiance of Gabby Petito. She's been missing for weeks. Since county teachers has been arrested. Deputies say that she admitted to having sexual relationship with one of her students. Along a portion of I-85 in Greenville County. Right now, crews are working to add a fourth lane to the southbound lanes. This is near Pelham Road. Now, the highest rate since the early 1980s, and that's really concerning to people who are retired and living on a fixed income. Four men from the upstate are facing charges in connection with the riot at the U.S. Capitol last year. WIFF4 actually spoke with <laughs> William Norwood yesterday. Yesterday. You see him on your screen. He probably couldn't go, or I guess we probably couldn't go a day without it, but today's the day you have permission to thank things like your iPhone, iPad, mm -hmm. laptop. We have all of the things up it, here. It's everywhere. It's National <laughs> Technology Day. 19 coverage this morning. COVID-19 hospitalizations are on the rise in South Carolina among adults and children. Also breaking this afternoon in Texas, one police officer has died, another one injured in a shooting. Well, the death of a toddler on Lake Hartwell is under investigation this afternoon. The coroner says 19 month old Holiday retail sales are about 3% higher this year compared to last. I know kind of shocking yeah. news. That's according to a report from MasterCard spending today. So 
pretty they, interesting. They walk from a, California to? Yep. Ooh. Talk about a long walk. I know. I was trying to walk the Swamp Rabbit Trail over there. <laughs> 22? No, I'm good. I'm, you can't even make the Swamp I, Rabbit Trail, I, can you? No, I do about a mile. That's, that's about as far as I'm I, going. I just walked to get my coffee a little uh, while ago. Uh, that, that, <laughs> good job, hey. Nigel. South Carolina Sheriff's Association says it does not have the authority to enforce President Biden's plan to fight COVID-19. Right, ready? One, two, three. We're live in downtown Greenville, Hannah Ward. CDC says that pregnant women who received a COVID-19 vaccine do not face any increased risk of preterm births or low weight babies. On McDowell County, police say that an argument over money led to a man being murdered. Keeps soaring to record highs as he's under pressure to do more to fix the nation's testing system. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Now the Red Cross is calling this a dire situation and so says that this is the lowest blood supply that it's seen in roughly a decade. Check this out. This is so cute. Two year old Jaylene Sutherland wore this outfit for her Halloween costume and the family's corgis, of course, completed that look. And since Queen Elizabeth II loves corgi dogs, Jaylene's mother, Caitlin, actually decided to send a picture of her daughter to Windsor Castle and got a response. An awful accident. Sky 4 over that scene. Let's take a look at this drive time. 58 minutes. We usually like to see that at 14. Let's head on over to the map so I can show you how I'm going to get you around it this morning. There's a few options. You're not getting anywhere fast this morning. We do have our normal stop and go travel times right there at Highway 14 as you cross the county line. Seeing them in both directions this morning. This is I-85. The roads look great. Sorry, sunrise is very distracting because it is absolutely stunning this morning. We are heading northbound on I-85 and what a view you have outside your windshield. All right, I'm gonna have to make some soup. Hey, as you head out the door this morning, things look excellent. Take a look at your screen. Sky 4 over this crash site for us this morning. To Augusta, there's also Matrix Parkway you can take to get to Augusta a little bit sooner. I'm wild about these warm temperatures. I love the colder temperatures. As you head out the door this morning, fabulous news for you. This is right there in downtown Hendersonville at Church Street, just to give you an idea of hazy conditions in that area. This is near the Walmart, near the discount tires to give you a little landmark, but you can see for oh, man, it doesn't get much better than this. We're up in the air. Traffic is moving smoothly. What a way to start off your Tuesday. I 85 northbound as is, is a parking lot right now. There's no way around it. News for I 26 blocked in both directions. Also right there in Anderson County, which sides which let me see if you can guess so where we are seeing some trouble though. 29 in the Greer area tanker gas fire, according to Columbus Police Department, causing both sides of I 26 to be completely shut down. Good news is once you go under that Highway 290 bridge, things seem to clear out all over the place, giving you live looks. This is I-85 right there at Highway 101 County. If you take a look at your screen right now, we have views in Spartanburg and Greenville County for you. So I-26 in Spartanburg County and through Spartanburg County. Look at that. Barely anyone on the roadway this morning. Plenty of room to move around. 15 minutes behind on the detours, about 30 to 40 minutes behind on I-85 northbound. So we can get you around this this morning and get you to work on time. Here's Hannah. Good morning, friends. Breaking news right now. Sky 4 giving us this exclusive view of a wreck right now. And so huge delays. I've heard from viewers that say all those detours, there's huge delays. So here's the update. They have moved that camper onto a tow truck. They have moved that car onto the tow. Still about 30 minutes away from the interstate moving as it should. So good news there. Those lanes have reopened for you. I've been watching it closely, watched it live. I wish I could have showed you, but it's already done, which is good news. If you're heading out the door in the next few minutes, we were only looking at brake lights earlier. Not the case anymore. If I were you, I'm not going to take you off the interstate yet, but just know it's it's something I am considering. So if you choose to stay on I-85, don't advise that. Several cars involved. We got two tractor trailers, one of them which carrying several vehicles. Two lanes blocked on the interstate right now. Let's go ahead and head to the maps so you can see exactly where this is. We're above this wreck. We're in front of this wreck. We're behind of this wreck, giving you multiple views. And right beside the Cherokee Speedway, this is going to impact your commute. So watching one on I-26 westbound, this is the one that's really going to impact your commute the most. Check it out. I know this is hard for you to believe, but this is the Highway 14 camera that lead to 
our interstates, they're still not in good shape. Take a look at this. This is Highway 25. I mean, rubberneckers are turning around looking at it, causing quite the slowdown as you head towards Spartanburg. Enjoy that breakfast. No need to take it on the road this morning. Hey, we've got a mess ID5 at northbound that's only going to get worse as we get closer to 630. It's not slowing you down in a major way, especially if you're heading downtown Greenville. Uh oh, my earring just fell. We'll get to that in a minute. No issues. So that is definitely something to be thankful for on this Monday because whoo, that would have slowed you down. And what a view you have outside your windshield. Not only are we not seeing brake lights, which is good news, but the sky is spectacular. Take a look at your screen, my friends. We have all green on the screen. Nothing slowing you down. We have no wrecks. We have no slowdowns. I-85 looks fabulous. We have an exclusive view for you right now at I-85. Vehicle there causing that right lane to be closed. We have an accident impacting my Spartanburg County driver. Yeah, I'm seeing travel time six miles per hour in that area on the interstate. Not what we want to see this working to keep our interstates open. This is them right now actually pushing snow off of Interstate 385.